What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So the official trailer for Jordan Peele's Nope was released earlier this morning. Like literally through the night while the sun was still down. Or while the moon was out I guess I'll say. So the trailer officially came out. Most of it yes is what was talked about from me in that video i did new footage details after the CinemaCon footage was shown and people were sworn not to share it some people did share it and i talked about it so we got exactly that we had shots of blood being dropped on the hayworth house we got more context as to what's going on with the story such as the fact that they have a father involved in the story that ends up getting i guess killed at the start of the movie we see glimpses of that and now they've taken over responsibility of the ranch after his demise and they ultimately of course will be faced with this otherworldly activity going on that they go out of their way to go get cameras to try to capture proof of it and we see that there's an old dingy what i'll call dingy flip phone in the, in the trailer indicating again that we are set very much so in the past in the early 2000s no doubt and of course we know we have the scorpion king hoodie to go off of to back that up all in all the trailer was very exciting i can see my where some people might find that the tone of it might have thrown them off but the footage shown in it definitely made the movie look fun to me in that in that regard i still am very excited to see this movie i will say that i'm probably more excited to see this than i am to see us only because of the fact that you know with this one i'm just i got a lot of question marks i will say this what what may be happening here because i'm just thinking about us a lot of the stuff or certain quick shots or cuts of things in this footage in this new trailer what if some of this stuff is flashbacks because we ended up finding that out with us when we had shots of of red and you know the i think her name was adeline uh, uh lupita's character we had shots of of a, a little girl who we ended up finding out was actually another character in the movie i'm thinking of the fact of what if certain shots shown in the trailer related to certain people who look like children are related to a character who's now an adult and something that they're doing right now in the movie there's just a lot of things in this trailer that i'm wondering okay are these flashbacks because they could be that's what that's what ended up happening with with nope not nope but uh <laughs> with us he didn't do that with get out we didn't have this with get out there was nothing in the get out trailer that was pointing to flashbacks but i'm just thinking could some of this stuff that was shown in this trailer for nope be stuff that's tying into flashbacks and we'll get to see how all that plays out once of course we see the movie how it all meshes together what significance it has to anything in the story if true so it was nice to see everyone interacting with each other it was nice to of course see kiki palmer nice to see daniel kalua it looks like they're gonna have a lot of good chemistry on screen the biggest things that i'm i feel like i'm going to take away from this movie is that there's great acting you have chemistry between the stars you're gonna have likable characters they're gonna definitely have i would say maybe some arcs and developments that happen with them along the way but maybe where the movie drops the ball is maybe regarding some of the stuff with the central conflict and maybe certain things not being as cohesive as you thought they might have been and you know in an attempt to maybe let your audience piece it together you didn't provide enough details or clues to come to a logical conclusion that's backed up by what you just showed us on screen maybe that's what's happening because with us i know there was an approach that was taken where we kind of had a lot answered but then a lot of things were still not making sense either so maybe this approach will be a lot of vagueness but maybe the problem here is you're too vague i'm just thinking about some things that might take away from the story all in all though it looks like there's going to be again great chemistry among the stars it looks like there's going to be some good action sequences some thrilling sequences things that definitely will be used to build tension from what i'm gathering and certain things of course that were shown in the trailer that could be indeed reflecting on a certain character that's now in their adulthood because if you watch the trailer when considering what we saw with us and how that had some relevance to a character who was in their adult life now in that movie i'm thinking the same thing is happening here with nope certain glimpses in the footage if you if you see if you see certain shots there's like a shot of a a, a little boy hiding and then we we cut to a shot of stephen young and i'm like okay is this supposed to be stephen young's character and then there's a shot of a monkey okay i'm like is this monkey supposed to have any significance there's a lot of different things that could be going on but doesn't mean that any of this stuff is flashbacks it just could be things that are actually going to happen based off of things that have been shown here and considering what ended up happening with us which had footage in there that many people were pointing out could be 
flashback stuff. And I think there was a lot of flashback stuff put into this Nope trailer. So what I think so far is that this movie will end up being something that will, of course, have a lot of people divided. I do, I do think this will be Jordan Peele's most divisive movie in terms of quality. I can see myself being on the side of still saying it's good, but it might be his weakest, his weakest effort so far. But he'll still be, again, three for three in my head. As long as you put out a good product, you'll be three for three with me. And going into some other things that I could see happening, of course, we're going to see probably the developments of how this death of the father impacted the Hayworths. I do know I heard the name of OJ. I guess that's uh, Daniel's name in the movie. And it looks like, yes, they are siblings. They're not married in any way. They're siblings. So we'll see how the death of their father ends up impacting them. And at one point when in the footage, I think he just seems to fall off of the horse. Seems like he's just falling off of the horse. If that's him, because again, it could be edited in a way to mislead you. If that was him falling off of the horse, what, what happened? I'm curious what happened to him. Because then we see him disfigured in the hospital so i'm like did something attack it looks like something attacked him because again you have these shots of him already that were released from the behind the scenes where he looks normal he looks normal but then this new footage with the trailer shows him looking a little disfigured in a hospital bed after falling off of a horse did he fall that hard <laughs> did something attack him prior to falling off we'll have to wait and see when this movie releases when it comes out, it still looks like they are sticking to the July release date. So I'm excited about that. We won't have too much longer to wait. It's basically coming out in a few weeks at this point. Thinking about it like that makes it not sound too far away. So I can't wait to see this movie. I know a lot of you can't wait to see this movie. I know there's a lot of people who are probably excited about revisiting a movie that reminds them of movies like Invasion of the Body Snatchers or other alien invasion, other worldly like invasion type horror movies. So we'll see what Jordan Bill jordan peele can bring to the table i know a lot of people are also expecting him to have some elements of social commentary while also being a sign of homage to movies like that but again people are saying there's like almost very little social commentary we'll see what ends up being the discussion amongst the people when this is re released for everyone else to see let me know what you guys thought about the trailer down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post occasion in this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video